Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about this app, HR module, personnel administration. In the SAP Easy Access field, type SPRO and press enter. Click on SAP reference IMG or press F5. Then click on the arrow next to enterprise structure. Then click on the arrow next to definition. If you want to know, what is meant by enterprise structure? Click on the note, right beside the enterprise structure. Then click on the arrow next to financial accounting. Click on the execute button next to the edit, copy, delete, check company code. Double click on the edit company code data. Click the new entries button. Enter a company code in the company code field. Enter the company name and the company name field. Select currency in the currency field. Click the Save button. Press Enter. The company code is same as existing code. Change the code. Save it. Select country in the country field. Click the check mark button. Click the back button. Then click on the arrow next to Human Resources Management. Click on the Execute button next to the Personnel Areas. Double click on the Personnel Areas. Click the New Entries button. Enter the Company Branch Name Abbreviation. Enter the company name and the personnel area field. Select city name and the country key field. Save it. Select the country and the country field.
click the check mark button. Click the back button. Double click on the personal areas. Click the new entries button. Enter a key for the company branch in the personal areas field. Enter the name of the company branch in the personal area field. Select the country and the country key field. Save it. Select the country and the country field. Click the check mark button. Save it. Click the back button. We can see that the entries have been saved. Click the back button. Then click on the arrow next to the personnel sub areas. Double click on the create personnel sub areas. Select personnel area in the field. That we have already created. Click the check mark button. Click the new entries button. Enter the sub area in the personnel sub areas column. Enter the sub area details in the personnel sub area text column. Save it. Click the back button. We can check what we have saved. Click the back button. Double click on the create personnel sub areas. Repeat the same steps for the other personnel areas. Click the new entries button. Enter the personnel sub areas for a personnel area.